Hello and welcome. You're watching Next IS English. In today's session, we'll be discussing a recent environmental issue from Assam that highlights the growing challenge of water pollution and its impact on biodiversity. The incident took place in Boko, in town in the Kamrup district of Assam, where a black, rare black softshell turtle critically endangered species was rescued from a polluted canal near the national highway. This case is not just about the rescue of one animal. It's a reflection of how human activities like waste dumping and poor water management are threatening entire aquatic ecosystems. So let's quickly get started. Let's begin with the background and geography. So, a real incident from Assam's Boko region where increasing pollution in the local river system has begun threatening aquatic life. Recently, as I've already mentioned, a rare black softshell turtle was rescued from a polluted canal. This case is not just a wildlife rescue story. It reflects how unchecked dumping of waste and water contamination can disturb the delicate balance of fresh water ecosystems. We'll explore the geography, the species involved, the causes of pollution and its wider implications, including how it connects to the UPSC syllabus on environment, biodiversity and also governance. Firstly, talking about the background and geography, so let's understand what exactly is the background and geography of Boko. So, Boko is a town in Kamrup district uh, of Assam, as I've already mentioned. I'm going to mention it again and again so that it just gets in your mind. It is located about 60 kilometers west from Guwahati and alongside National Highway 17, it lies in the foothill belt of Assam Meghalaya border as an rich area in wetlands and alluvial plains. The region falls under the Boko Soegaon subdivision and is the part of Brahmaputra Basin. Such small river systems and wetlands are vital for the local ecosystems as they regulate water flow, provide fish and irrigation and support a wide range of aquatic species. But unfortunately, these smaller water bodies are often the first to be affected by these unregulated waste dumping. Now, moving forward, let's talk about the Boko River and the wetland. Now, talking about the Boko River and the wetland and its adjoining wetlands which form a part of the Brahmaputra's complex drainage system. These are crucial ecological assets which serve as a breeding ground for fish, amphibians, turtles, migratory birds. Wetlands here also act as a natural water filter which absorbs the pollutants and maintains water quality as well. When pollution levels rise beyond their capacity, the entire aquatic chain form microorganisms to higher animals like turtles get impacted. Therefore, protecting these local water systems is essential not only for the wildlife but also for human livelihoods as well. Moving forward, let's talk about the incident. Now, what exactly happened? So, on October 28, 2025, passerby noticed that a turtle crawling out of a canal of NH17 Borpara in Boko concerned residents informed the Singra Forest Range Office. A team led by Range Officer Piku Singh, Pinku Singh reached the site and rescued the turtle, later releasing it into a temple pond at Nagopara. And uh, such behavior, a turtle leaving its natural aquatic habitat often signals deteriorating water conditions either due to pollution, oxygen dep depletion or chemical contamination. The rescue highlights both the rising pollution threat and the community's responsiveness as well. Moving forward, let's talk about the turtle which are black soft shell turtle. Now let's talk about that. The rescued animal was identified as the black soft shell turtle, scientifically known as Nilsonia nigricans. It's listed as critically endangered by IUCN red list for a long time. The species was thought to be extinct in the wild and was found mainly in temple ponds of Assam, such as Hajo's Hayagriva Madhava temple. It's native to the Brahmaputra Valley and parts of Bangladesh as well. Interestingly, Despite its critical status, it is not legally protected under India's Wildlife Protection Act 1972. 
and which makes community driven and temple based conservation efforts even more important for the survival of this species moving forward let's talk about the pollution and the causes now what were the causes and the pollution the main cause of water contamination in boko is improper waste disposal from local boko market shopkeepers and traders dump hotel waste food waste plastic fish uh, meat residues directly into the river and canals often at the night now this continuous dumping reduces the oxygen level increases bacterial uh, load and makes the water foul foul smelling and toxic the pollution is not limited to the river alone it spreads to nearby ponds and wetlands destroying the breeding grounds for fish turtles and other aquatic species now it's a clear case of how local negligence can trigger an ecological crisis moving forward and let's talk about the ecological significance now what are the ecological significance of this turtles in general as well turtles are known as bio indicators of water health this means that their presence or absence reflect the health of a water body when turtles are forced out of their habitat it indicates that the water system is no longer habitable in assam turtles also hold cultural and religious importance as well many temple ponds serve as safe habitats for them thus the conservation of such species bridges science culture and spirituality moreover smaller tributaries like the boko feed into the brahmaputra pool and pollution in these minor streams eventually affects the larger basin hence local actions have regional consequences so moving forward let's talk about the legal and policy framework now what are the legal and policy framework let's talk about that from a legal point of view the black soft shell turtle uh is recognized as critically endangered by IUCN as i've already told you and is included in the CITES appendix 1 which means that international trade is banned however it lacks direct protection under india's wildlife protection act which is a major policy gap it is a major policy gap the assam forest department and ngos have initiated collaborative efforts such as temple pond restoration and awareness programs to conserve this species now at the same time the pollution aspect falls under the water prevention and control of pollution act 1974 and the solid waste management rules 2016 both of which require strict enforcements by the local bodies moving forward let's talk about the challenges and way forward now what are the challenges and what are the way forward so the boko case reveals several governance and implementation challenges which is weak uh, enforcement of waste disposal rules poor awareness and lack of legal protection of species and a need for community monitoring so strict monitoring and enforcement of waste disposal rules is important setting up decentralized waste collection systems that is also crucial community participation and cleanliness drives and awareness campaigns can be done restoring local wetlands and water quality through ecological audits is very important integrating temple based conservation which is already happening in assam into formal wildlife protection frameworks is also important only a mix of policy participation enforcement can ensure this long term sustainability now moving forward let's talk about the conclusion now it is very important see to to wrap up the boko turtle rescue is both a warning as well as an opportunity it highlights how small scale pollution can have large scale ecological impacts protecting endangered species like the black soft shell turtle requires a multi prolonged approach tackling pollution at its source empowering communities and aligning cultural values with conservation in a broader sense this incident reminds us that saving biodiversity is not just about wildlife it's about preserving the health of the very ecosystems that sustain the human life so uh i think that is 
it for today. I've covered all the aspects. I've covered why the turtles are important. I've covered the geographical aspect of the Boko River as well as the challenges and the way forward. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment. And that is it for today. I will see you in another deep dive video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.